Hi, this is Kirk from iMazing. Today I'm going to show you how you can use iMazing to learn useful information about the battery in your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Everyone knows how important it is to have a long-lasting battery on an iPhone or iPad. Whether you use your devices for work or for play, you need power to keep them going. Recent iOS devices will last a full day for most people, but over time, the capacity of your battery decreases and the amount of time you can use your devices gets shorter. While you can get some information about battery health on your iPhone, iMazing can show you detailed information about the state of your battery on all iOS devices for free. Here's how. Launch iMazing and connect your iOS device. Select your device in the iMazing sidebar. At the bottom right of the iMazing window, you'll see a small battery icon. It shows the current charge level of your device's battery. Click this icon to see iMazing's battery data screen. At the top, you'll see your current charge level. Below that is your battery's health status. Excellent means that your battery can charge to its full capacity. In some cases, your battery health might even be greater than 100%. Good means that it can hold between 85 and 95% of its original capacity. Average means that your battery can charge to between 70 and 84% of its original capacity. And poor means that your battery can only hold less than 70% of its original capacity. You should consider replacing your battery. The technical data section includes some useful information about your battery. Your battery's current charge and maximum charge in milliamp hours. How many charge cycles your battery has had. A charge cycle is one full charge and depletion of the battery. You'll also see information about the amperage and voltage of the current charge and information about your charger if your device is connected to one. iMazing offers a useful tool on the battery data screen. If you select a low battery notification, iMazing will alert you on your computer when your device's battery goes below the threshold you've chosen, even for devices that aren't connected to your computer. If you enjoyed this video and want more tutorials like this one, then subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.